Hi, I'm Lars Kieser from the University of Osnabrück and in this video I want to show you uh, what is possible in regards of screen mirroring using the Raspberry Pi. So uh, most of you should know the Raspberry, but for those who don't, it's this one. So it's a credit card sized uh, mini PC, which, well, runs Linux or Android or whatever you want for, normally you want to run Linux on this. So uh, it's about uh, $35, so it's quite cheap and uh, has a hardware encoder and decoder for X, uh, X264 and MPEG4 and so on, has um, HDMI output, has network, has USB and so on. So uh, this is what we want to use. Um, there was a lot of discussion on the German motto and users list about screen mirroring recently, uh, which used Mirocast, which used uh, AirPlay from Apple, and which used uh, Creston products, which are quite pricey and have uh, additional software attached. But you can use it using just the Raspberry Pi and so on. So I want to show you uh, how, what is possible. So I want to will log into my Raspberry. Uh, I want to, will show you a video uh, later on where my Raspberry is and what my setup is. But for now, I just log in and show you what I'm doing. So uh, my password goes in here okay and now we start uh, tmux tmux is a terminal multiplexer so i've got uh, two shells on the raspberry um, what i'm doing now is that i'm running ffmpeg and i'm telling that uh, ffmpeg should listen to tcp uh, to video streams over a TCP network, uh, so it listens to port 8888, and will then just uh, copy this uh, video stream he gets to a uh, file called output.ts, uh, which means we are live not only presenting, but also capturing what is sent to the Raspberry. And on the other hand, it will uh, put it uh, via UDP to a local uh, something that's listening and uh, that goes down here. So jumping down here, we'll run uh, OMX player. The OMX player is uh, a player special to the Raspberry Pi, which enables us to uh, use the internal hardware decoder of the Raspberry to uh, present things. And uh, the most important part is that it will just accept the UDP stream and display it. And then down here, we will run FFmpeg, doing live capturing, in this case of HD video material, so uh, 1080p with 25 frames per second from uh, this uh, monitor or this desktop. And we will send it as MPEG-4 stream. In theory, H.264 should also be possible, though I had some problems with that. So for now, I'm using MPEG-4 and I'm sending it as uh, MPEG-TS, so it's an MPEG transport stream. Okay, so now I'm just running all of these. Um, I start with FFmpeg, which will listen to the port then switch down here to uh, the player and on my other monitor I'll just see that it blanked out so it's now listening and then I'd start it uh, requires a couple of seconds to uh, start up but uh, now we see the player says okay I received data and uh, well, now I switch over to the camera so you can see both monitors and what's going on. So now we've switched to the camera and here we see both monitors. The right one is the one with the Raspberry Pi attached. So uh, here it is. It's the one I also use for tests as a Raspberry Pi capture agent. So the, uh, camera module is attached there and here on the left 
we see the monitor and now we see that I can't move uh, windows to the monitor on the left and then it's mirrored to the monitor on the right so the Raspberry is receiving the uh, video stream and is mirroring my monitor and of course I can just uh, use the browser and do whatever I want and um, well uh, here I uh, switch to my webcam attached to my notebook and wave a little bit and of course uh, what most people would do at least uh, in our context is using the thing for uh, presentations and here we see one of the presentation I held on the Yan conference and uh, well you see on the left it changes and on the right it changes as well okay that's my short uh, demonstration of what you can do in terms of screen mirroring and recording uh, over the network using the raspberry pi so goodbye